I just finished washing and dyeing my hair, rinsing that out. If you'd like to see the video, click the link above. And um, so we're starting on clean hair. I'm going to be using Shea Moisture's African Black Soap Balancing Conditioner. I'm using the lock method. And it's going to be rather light. It's going to be a light conditioner. Um, don't want anything heavy for what I'm about to do. And if you'd like to know how to make this oil, this is the oil I'm going to be using. You can click the link above. In that video, it shows um, how I make the oil. And you want to put um, not a lot of that either, just, just enough to make sure that it's in there. Distribute it throughout the hair. Now I'm parting with my hands. It does not have to be even. I'm going to use my Denman brush to brush it through down to the root, making sure that I've um, made sure that I get it all the way through and put a twist in my hair. You can use clamps if you like. You don't have to use twists. This is just to make sure that I've got it all the way through. I'm using Eco Styler Gel, the coconut oil kind, and um, making sure I put some of that on there, not a lot. Brush it through with a Denman brush. And don't worry, I'm going to be going kind of fast with this flat twist. I have another video on how to do the flat twist. And um, that may be a little bit better for you to see on how to do it. But I'm also going to do another one in this video um, a little bit slower. So you just want to put a little bit more once you split the um, flat twist. Leave it split it. Clip back one of the sides of the twist and go ahead and... Put some more Eco Styler gel on there to make sure it's nice and smooth. And having that clip on there definitely helps to make sure that you keep it in place while you work on one side of the twist. And then you just wrap it around and clip it in place. You want to make sure that the tips are definitely tucked away before rolling up. Each twist is, of course, has two parts, so you just want to untwist the second part and do the same thing. Add a little more Eco Styler Gel, make sure it's smooth, and then grab your roller, starting from the tip, and wrap it right around the end, tuck the end away, roll it just a little bit, grab your finger wrap once, and then roll all the way up to the top. If you need to just push the other roller out of the way roll it up to the top and clip and you can do any pattern that you want but this is just the pattern that I chose to do I have um, kind of a mushroom pattern going on except for this one that I'm putting in now it's one going from the top of the middle of my head down to the side and this is just to make sure that it's not going to be difficult. I want it to look full. And I do this to make sure that it looks full and it falls the way I want it to fall. So when you're doing this twist, you just stick your finger through and grab and hold. Stick your finger through, grab, hold. Stick your finger through, grab, hold. Stick your finger through, grab, hold. That's basically all a twist is. While you're sticking your finger through, you grab and hold the hair. Stick your finger through, grab hold the hair, and you wrap the other hand around. Stick through. And you, you stick your finger through, grab and hold the hair. Wrap it around, it's the same thing. And you clip it away. And the same thing we did before. Put Eco Styler Gel on that side. Use the roller starting from the tip. Make sure that tip is well coated because you don't want any frizzy ends. Smooth it down and roll it around the roller and then roll it all the way up once you've got that taken care of 
Now go into the other half of the twist, doing it the same way. What I'm doing here is using a bobby pin and I'm putting the bobby pin underneath of the rollers going through the twist to make sure that the rollers are secure in the place that I want them straight up and down. Rollers always go where they want to go a lot of times, especially these type of rollers. So securing them with the bobby pin going underneath the rollers um, help them be in a secure position which is up and down for this type of style and this is optional this is not something that you have to do this is just something that I like to do This is just the back angle on how to do a twist from behind your head. Again, you just grab, hold, twist, grab, hold, twist, grab, hold, twist, grab, hold, twist. And don't forget, I do have a link video on how to do flat twists if you'd like to check that out. This video is mostly focusing on how to get the curl definition with the roller sets on the tips of the flat twist. Now that we're all done, I'm just showing you the finished result of the pattern that I chose to do. And now this is when it's done. They're dry, they're bouncing back, they're shiny, and you wanna unravel them very carefully. You don't wanna just pull your rollers out. And use that same oil and put a little on your fingertips to unravel. Take your time unraveling. All you're doing is following the pattern and undoing the twist. You're not doing anything but undoing the twist. Undoing the twist will make you have to undo a little bit of the curl at the end, but that's okay. As long as you're using oil, you won't have any frizz. Just don't separate the twist because there's no need to separate the twist. Just follow undoing the twist. And if that makes you have to undo some of the curl at the tip, that's okay. Just make sure you use that oil and you'll keep that shine. Now I love to use the pick to pick out the roots and fluff it out, give it a little bit more body and lift it up from the roots a little. Do not disturb the curl pattern. Make sure you're only lifting from the roots. Only lift from the root. And once you get it lifted and you hide the part the way you look, want them hidden, you can leave it that way or you can do it like I do. I love to use a bobby pin to style my hair. And in this case, I didn't want to leave it the way that it was. So I'm going to use a bobby pin to pin up the sides. And it 
don't worry about your hair being hard your, your hair definitely isn't hard because we did use the leave-in conditioner and the oils before we put in the eco styler gel Now I'm going to take a little more Eco Styler Gel and I'm going to lay my edges down a bit. And anyone who's watched any tutorials on how to lay edges, um, you know that most people use a toothbrush. So this should not be a surprise to you when you see me using my toothbrush. Hope you guys enjoyed this video if so give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe more videos to come